Hi all, my name is Anand Sharma. I had over 12 years of experience in pharmaceutical industry. Today, in this short video, I will explain the GAM5 software categories in very simple way to ensure clarity and a better understanding for everyone. When it comes to GAM5, software systems are classified into four categories. Category 1, infrastructure. Category 3, standard system. Category 4, configured products. And Category 5, custom applications. Now, let's delve into each category briefly. So, Category 1, infrastructure software tools and IT services. It provides the foundation for running and monitoring of other applications. This include operating system like Windows or Linux, databases like MySQL, tools like antivirus software or network monitoring tools. These systems are qualified, not validated to ensure they create a controlled and reliable environment. Now let's explore the standard system components. Category 3 works straight out of box. Think of tools like basic spreadsheet software or reporting applications. These tools used runtime configurations for a small setup like adding usernames, setting default printers, choosing data storage locations. Runtime configuration refers to settings in the software that allow it to function properly within the installed environment. The next in the hierarchy is category 4 configured components. This is where we adapt the software to match business processes using built-in tools. For example, you might turn feature on off or customize reports using drag and drop tools. This is called configuration like setting up workflow in the quality management system. Validation is more involved because these changes can affect how the software works. Now, the category 5, custom applications and components. These are fully customized often with new code written to meet unique requirements. For instance, writing macros in a lab system, creating completely new software modules. These carry the highest risk and need detailed validation and control. So at the last, let's recap to summarize that category 1, infrastructure, needs qualification, not validation. Category 3, standard components, minimal setup, low risk. Category 4, configured, that is adapted with built-in tools having medium risk. And the last custom category that is fully customized and have highest risk. By understanding these categories, you can better manage the risk and ensure compliance. Hope you all like this video. Do follow on LinkedIn for more such quick short videos for better understanding. Thank you all.